Okay, so here's what you're gonna need to decoupage a drawer front. This is pre-pasted wallpaper. You don't need pre-pasted wallpaper. You can use tissue paper or whatever else. This is just a thick thing, so nothing will come through the back and this lays really, really smooth. And I don't have to seal the top of it because it has a wipeable surface, which is awesome. Um, the pre-pasted gives me extra adhesion and I'm using Chalk Mountain's uh, polycrylic. Um, here's a brayer. You can use this. You don't have to with something this thick. And then of course I've got a foam brush to apply all the stuff. So what you are going to do is put on a super generous layer of polycrylic on the drawer front. If you don't feel like you got enough, you can also add some to the back of the paper. But again, if you get enough on the drawer front, it's not necessary. Then you can go back through and check all the edges. Then you take the blade and you will glide it around the edge and it's going to be super easy. So let's get started. All right, so I have the paper kind of cut out into shape that will work and then you just kind of line it up to where you like the print on the drawer. So that's kind of how I did my cutout. I left a little overhang on the edges because we're going to make it super precise with the blade. So what's great about this chalk mountain is it's in a, like a squeezy tube. So like I said, generous amount all over the drawer and you really want to make sure that you get all the edges super, super well. You kind of want to build up. all along the edges because that's where you're going to have lifting if any lifting is going to occur. Now since the poles are out obviously, um, some is going to drip through the holes and that's fine. Just remember to wipe it up or else you will have two puddles of poly in the back of your drawer that most likely will never be seen but if you're like me then it will bother you internally until Okay, and just make sure that you have coverage everywhere, which we do now. Okay. So again, we're gonna line up as we dip it in everything and then we'll have to wipe it off because I just got poly all over that brand. section that I got and then you're going to search for bubbles in it. I see a few bubbles. You just want to work them out. So this is where you can use the brayer or again brayer is not necessary but it's kind of nice. And you are going to get some seepage of the poly coming out the sides. That's just fine. That just means that you got enough in there. So just keep working it and then you can use your cloth to wipe up the excess and you'll be good to go. You kind of want to work outwards because again we're pushing all of that poly through the piece to make sure that it's really sticky. up with the drawer and run it along. Good grief. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. And you kind of want to do it angled as you're going so that you get a smoother finish along the edge. 
okay, wipe off your blades. There will be poly on it, that's just fine. Okay, so quick tip while you are trying to cut out the center portion here, if you run your finger over the hole where you know it is on this side, you can see it come through. So then you can just pop it, stab something through there or use a knife or whatever. So the drawers are all dry. It's time to add the hardware. And we conveniently made those little holes before. You found them with your finger and then you can either use a blade or like I said, a screwdriver to stab through the holes. I just use a little blade and make a little X mark in there and then it just gives me the perfect hole to fit my hardware through. And this is just such an easy way to take your dressers up a notch or anything really, but it's just, it adds something and it's very minimal work with a pretty impressive outcome. So I'm just getting these on and you can kind of see this finished dresser. It's not staged up yet. I will have that once I have the whole video of the full dresser done, but I mean, just this is lovely. If you like this, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, thanks so much for watching.